Welcome to the Goldstone ground for this Coca-Cola second round first leg match between Brighton Hove Albion and Manchester United. This is the biggest game for Brighton for many a year, a couple of years since they played Liverpool in the third round of the FA Cup. On that occasion, a couple of years ago, Liverpool, Brighton drawing two apiece with Liverpool at Anfield. And then in the return game here at Brighton, unfortunately Brighton going down 3-2 to Liverpool. But Brighton have got some revenge to get on Manchester United from the FA Cup final from 82-83. Brighton drawing at Wembley in the first game two apiece. And then in the replay again at Wembley, Manchester United stuffing the Seagulls by four goals to nil. So there's one particular man on the field, Steve Foster, who will want to get his revenge from that game. Well, tonight there is a, a special mascot for... Charlie Blair, a nine-year-old, the special mascot tonight for Brighton Hove Albion, just in the centre of the field there with the referee. Ian Hemley from Amt Hill. The full lineup tonight, Mark Beanie in goal for Brighton, two, Captain Gary Chivers, three, Ian Chapman, four, Dean Wilkins, five, Paul McCarthy, six, Steve Foster, seven, John Crumplin, eight, Matthew Edwards, nine, Andy Kennedy, 10, Robert Codner, and 11, Clive Walker. The substitute, Simon Funnell, and the other substitute, Darren Wilkinson. Manchester United line up like this. Gary Walsh in goals, two, Dennis Irwin, three, Lee Martin, four, Captain Steve Bruce, five, Neil Webb, Six, Gary Panister. Seven, Andre Konchelskis. Eight, Paul Lintz. Nine, Brian McClare. Ten, Mark Hughes. Eleven, Danny Wallace. And the substitutes, Clayton Blackmore and David Beckham. Manchester United. Brighton get the game underway. Steve Foster immediately just pushing the ball forward. Laid back by Robert Codner. The ball going forward. And Brighton making good early grounds in the centre there. John Crumplin lays it out wide to Clive Walker. Walker. Good ball in, but that'll be no problem for Gary Walsh. In for Peter Schmeichel on international duty this evening for his country, Denmark. Ball comes nice on this side, Hughes. Push forward again, laid a nice one too. Ince going forward, laid out wide again to Mark Hughes. Down on this left-hand side to Wallace. Wallace. Nice ball over on the far side, nodded back, this is dangerous for Brighton, Foster getting the nudge in there, and Mark Hughes kicking Steve Foster up the rear end, and it'll be a free kick to Brighton. Mark Beanie just getting the feel of the ball. The furthest Brighton have ever been in this competition is the fifth round of the then the old League Cup. I've been trying all evening to try and find out who it actually was that Brighton played in that particular match, but uh, the information a little bit far to get to at the moment. I've asked quite a few people at the club, but uh, Brighton build nice down this side, Codner, and a shot taking a deflection, and Gary Walsh just tipping it round the post for a corner kick. Five Walker, the ex-Chelsea player to take this corner kick, Brighton unbeaten at home this season in their first three league games. The tall figure of Gary Chivers, the captain, in the side, passing a late fitness test just before the kickoff. He's up there, Walker, nodded out on this side to John Crumplin. Crumplin and chipped to the far post, but uh, no problem for the deputising keeper, Gary Walsh. Tries to find Wallace on this side, but a, a good head forward by Crumplin. Wallace again. Try to get it back to Lee Martin.
Number Brighton through to the second stage after beating Colchester on aggregate 2-1. In the first leg at Colchester, it was a 1-1 scoreline thanks to a goal from Wilkinson. And then in the second leg here at the Goldstone ground, Wilkinson again scoring to give Brighton a 1-0 victory over Colchester. And a result similar to that tonight will be a superb result for all these loyal Hove Albion supporters. It's a good play by Andy Kennedy, deputising in... Lone strikers Paul Molden and Steve Cottrell from Wimbledon and Oldham should have been playing this evening if they could have got permission from their clubs, but the club's not allowing them to, to play. So hence the forward line of Andy Kennedy and Matthew Edwards spearheading the Brighton Hove Albion attack this evening. Game started off at a fair old pace. And Mark Hughes, Judge Drew in, backing in. And Steve Foster will take this free kick. Now he's leaving it to fullback Ian Chapman, an apprentice with Brighton Hove Albion. Come up through the ranks, headed out by Konchelskis, bobbling him out on the edge of the United area. Wilkins and the shot, but the whistle had gone way before. Referee Ian Hemley from Amphill in Bedfordshire, blowing up for an infringement on the edge of the box, quickly taken by Steve Bruce. Ince. He's got Wallace Frey on this side, he lays it inside to Neil Webb. Wearing the number five shirt, but playing in the centre of midfield this evening. Irwin. In for Ince. Intercepted by Wilkins, lays it wide again to full back Chapman, forward, laid wide again. Nice ball in. Ball on that left-hand side, played in again. Kicked out by Bruce, not far enough. And Edwards trying to get in there, side from Tottenham. In the past. And no problem for Gary Walsh from that cross. Brighton starting lively, need to keep this sort of momentum up and could well come up with some sort of a shock result this evening. Walsh, a good kick. Hughes, all played by Codner. Konchelskis leaves the ball behind. One back by Ince. Hughes. Webb. Out of favour at the moment, Neil Webb. Martin. Wallace trying to set somebody through, but nobody reading what uh, Danny Wallace signed from Southampton a few years ago. Mark Beanie, who came to Brighton from Maidstone at the start of last season. And his kick, not finding anyone in the middle there. This game originally was scheduled to be played at Old Trafford tonight, but with the Tory conference being held there on the 7th of October, it was switched around. And Brighton hoped to make around about £90,000 from the two legs. And because of the switch, that could be well worth £23,000 to them. Ball coming down on this side, well covered there by the Brighton defence. Paul McCarthy, who started here at Brighton, through the ranks again as an apprentice. Martin. Foster heads it out, only as far as Ince. Ball on that right-hand side. Konchelskis, Foster again, heads it clear, McCarthy should I say, wide again, Martin, Wallace, Wallace nodded in, Hughes, a nice back header bomb, Mark Hughes, 1.8 million pounds 
sold to Barcelona and then re-signed back a couple of seasons ago. Played by Wilkins. The referee blowing up and it'll be a Manchester United free kick. Field. Martin forward, kicked out again by McCarthy. Bruce trying to find Hughes, and Mark Hughes ruled offside by the linesman. Mark Stabard. Trying to get in there. Webb battling in there. Hughes. Very influential player, Mark Hughes. Finds Konchalskis on that right hand side. Ince. Back to Webb. Leclerc. Manchester United trying the one twos through the centre of the field. But no problems again because the Brighton defence. Of course, the holders of this competition, Manchester United, beating Nottingham Forest last season in the final. Brighton, who didn't play in the in this competition last season at this stage, along with Manchester United, because they were in the second division, this time last season, and the season before, it's only the bottom few in the bottom of the second division, but it, as they speak, Clive Walker lofts one in, headed out. Codner, Wallace breaking for Manchester United. And this could be dangerous for Brighton. Wallace has got McClare wide on this left-hand side, McClare. Leclerc tries a shot and it goes over the crossbar. So saying that Brighton weren't involved in at this stage last season because it's only the bottom couple of teams in Division 2 that have finished in the bottom few places from the season before. So they entered the competition, at the, should I say, at this stage last season, not the first round stage. Uh, unfortunately beaten 4-1 at Bradford in the first leg at this time last season and in the second leg they beat Bradford 4-2 but went out 6-5 on aggregate Ince Ince going all the way to Wallace Wallace to Ince tried the 1-2 Codner Walker actually it was Wilkins through to Edwards Thought he might get the corner off uh, Bruce, but the referee gives the goal kick. Manchester United last season in this competition in uh, the second round first leg. They beat Cambridge 3-0, through 1-1 away, so they went through 4-1 on aggregate. In the third round, they beat Portsmouth 3-1. Fifth foot... Fourth round, 2-0 against Oldham, but it's danger on this right-hand side as Kanchelskis gets away from his marker and a free kick given once again. Dangerous position. Kanchelskis, a very, very quick player. Sign from Donetsk, a Russian side. This is dangerous for Brighton. Free kick floated in, kicked out nicely by Dean Wilkins. Here's Manchester United beat Portsmouth 3-1 in the third round. Fourth round came 2-0 against Oldham, they won. Beat Leeds United 3-1 in the fifth round. 
And then on to the semi-finals, where they drew no goals in the first leg against Middlesbrough, 2-1 in the second leg, and then in the final, they beat Manchester, uh, they beat Nottingham Forest with a goal from uh, McClare to give the Rumblows Cup trophy to Manchester United. Codner. Tripped by Neil Webb. Webb and Wallace, who have not had a, a big involvement with Manchester United so far this season, but will be needed next Wednesday in the second round. This is dangerous. Ball all over the shop at the back there. Wallace. They will be needed in the second leg of the first round UEFA Cup game against Moscow Torpedo, as there's only five non-English players can be fielded in uh, those European games. McClare against Foster, Foster wins. So they'll be looking to uh, have a good game tonight to secure their places next Wednesday. That's a good ball through to Walker, if he can keep it in, he can. Good ball play through by Crumplin. Walker, nodded out by Pallister. Manchester United's record signing. Walker, deflection. Bruce, Konchelskis. Throwing quickly taken. Ball comes across. And hacked out by Pallister again. Manchester United have been runners up in this competition on two occasions in 1982 83 when Liverpool beat them, and in 1990 91 when Sheffield Wednesday won the Rumblows Cup as it was then. Wilkins losing out, Kanchelskis racing down the middle here. McClare actually. Hughes. Good ball wide, nodded out well by Crumplin. As Brighton looked to build quite nicely. Ball's going through and Edwards ruled just offside. Good ball through there. But Edwards, who not very often wears the number seven shirt for Brighton, playing in attack. I was saying earlier, because of Steve Cottrell and on loan striker Paul Molden, both on loan from Oldham and Wimbledon, not allowed to play this evening, no permission from their re respective clubs. Wilkins. A free kick again given. Manchester United will have a free kick. Brighton fresh from a good draw away at Blackpool last weekend, two apiece. Codner and Mulder scoring the goals to earn them a well-earned point. Brighton who stand in fifth spot in the third division. I should say the new second division. The old third division. A full nine points out of nine here at home. Ball played in, Foster knocks it out. And Kanchelskis to Webb. This ball comes in, McClare. And Foster, and there's a danger here. What great save! A superb save from a defensive mix-up. Superb save from Beanie. And that was a very distinct possibility that Manchester United would take the lead. Brighton all over the place at the back. And Mark Beanie reacting superbly to keep the scores at nil-nil. Good ball played out wide. Walker's going for it. Kennedy was there. Walk. Good tackle by Bruce. And Brian have a throw. 
Manchester United, who are in the top eight places in the first division, or the, should we say the new FA Premier League, keep getting mixed up with that, but Brighton in a dangerous position. And they could look like the appeals for a penalty, but the referee having none of it. Manchester United have taken 10 points out of a possible 15 on their travels. And fresh from a 1-1 draw away at Tottenham last Saturday, Giggs scoring right on the, the half-time whistle and Ian Jory scoring in the second half to earn United that point. Ince wide, ball eventually coming to Wallace. Wallace. Martin. Ince, McClare, good challenge. Wilkins brings it out. Edwards. Bruce. A capacity ground here tonight. I do believe it's drawn the 18,000 mark on the Goldstone ground. I apologise if I'm wrong for that assumption, but that's what the Rothmans book says, what the capacity at the Goldstone ground is. Ince. Wallace is calling for it on this left-hand side. It comes right over on this side. Good play by Wallace, but uh, offside against Mark Hughes. I think Brighton can take some encouragement from Chesterfield's 4-4 draw at Anfield last night. A superb game at Anfield. Liverpool hit by injuries, but Chesterfield certainly making the most of their trip to Liverpool. And have set themselves up with a superb chance of going through to the next stage of this competition. Let's see if Brighton can do likewise in this game tonight against the Red Devils. Webb. Foster cutting out. Wilkins completing the clearance. Ince down on that right hand side. Ince again to Kanchelskis. So quick. This is dangerous. Comes right over Webb. And the shot blocked. Crumpling brings it away. That's a bad ball. The game really going at a, quite a a fast pace, Webb inside, McClare. That was Hughes and it's found McClare. Wallace, oh, deflection and it hit the post. I think it came off Foster. I'm not actually sure, but Brighton can breathe again. So close to Manchester United taking the lead. And the Seagulls. Can live again. United's corner goes out of play, and that'll be a goal kick from the direct corner. Well, I think that that ball certainly was in uh, had a, a little bit of jam on it as far as the Brighton contingent here are concerned. A lucky deflection in in one sense, but uh, in another sense, it was lucky for Brighton that it went onto the post and not the wrong side of the post. Good start to this game. 20 minutes gone. McMartin wide to Wallace. Webb. United started to play the ball about very nicely indeed. Oh dear, Hughes, good challenge and clearance. Codner and Edwards offside. Brighton starting to ride there, look slightly. Pallister. In. 
Collins. Irwin lays it wide. Kanchelskis again, so quick, causing all sorts of problems for fullback Ian Chapman. Wide on this side again, laid in to Webb. Webb dancing around, tried to get it through to Hughes. Hack clear again. Kennedy not able to get onto that one. Headed wide. Ince. Forward. McClare fails again, and Steve Foster will lay it all the way back to Mark Beanie, who will, I would imagine, take his time. Remember, the goalkeeper can't pick the ball up if he's kicked back. Webb. And won by Codner, who sets Kennedy away. Good ball in! And all sorts of problems for the Manchester United defence as Kennedy went in. Edwards actually was the one going in on the goalkeeper. Good play by Codner again. Chivers, the captain, who recovering from a hamstring injury, passing a late fitness test before the game. Webb to Martin, back to Webb. Webb just gets his knees up and puts the ball into touch as Brighton look for this opening goal. Chivers inside to Edwards. Edwards down on that side, dancing away on that side. Get the ricochet off the defender, Lee Martin, and a corner kick as Brighton again look in search of this opening goal to send this Goldstone crowd wild with delight. Ball comes over, rises on the back post, and a shot coming in. I couldn't actually quite see who it was. Brighton appeal for handball, but goalkeeper Gary Walsh saving very well indeed. And Brighton certainly holding their own against Manchester United this evening. At times look a little shaky at the back. But that's only to be expected when you've got the likes of Brian McClare, Mark Hughes, Danny Wallace, Paul Ince, and all the rest of the clan, international class, that Manchester United parade this evening. Codner. Edwards has gone right through, and Edwards is through. And Edwards just wide of the post. Edwards put through on the inside right channel. Skated away from two Manchester United challengers. And this shot only just going wide of Gary Walsh's post. Very hard look indeed for Matthew Edwards. As I was saying, not so long ago, very often plays on the right-hand side for the Seagulls. Wallace. Good play by Shivers, the captain. Gets a 1-2 from Crumplin. Shivers. And a free kick as Neil Webb clatters into Gary Shivers. 25 minutes gone, still scoreless here at the Goldstone ground. And the free kick going nowhere. Webb hacks it clear. That looks for Kanchelskis, who wouldn't be a miss in a 100 metres race. And Kanchelskis, tremendous play by Ian Chapman. Well played indeed. Bruce. Chapman, Edwards, you're looking for support. Edwards, Ince getting back. Just muscling in and knocking the ball away from Edwards. Ince to Webb. To Bruce. Codno. Wilkins. Andy Kennedy offside. Sign from Watford in the past.
Clare, brought down by Steve Foster. And the free kick quickly taken. And John Crumpling gives what can only be described as uh, an ambitious clearance, but it, it gives uh, Manchester United a corner, and it could be dangerous too. Quite a, a large following of Manchester United supporters making the trip this evening. Ball charged down, Dean Wilkins. Could well get this ball clear, taking his time, looking for people forward. Edwards, Codner. That's a good ball wide to Captain Chivers on this side. Ball headed out to Hughes. Ince. To Webb. Webb forward again, not backed by McClare. Webb, that's... And uh, Mark Hughes handling the ball. He can't argue about that. Very silly indeed if he does. It's so blatant, it's untrue. And Mark Beanie taking the kick a couple of yards outside the penalty area. Codner lays it back to Chapman. Good covering by Gary Pallister. Don't feel that Pallister's really lived up to his uh, price tag that Manchester United paid for him from Middlesbrough a few seasons ago. In, I think it was 1989 they paid. They paid 2.3 million for Pallister's services. And deputising keeper Gary Walsh launches this one forward. Added out by McCarthy. Manchester United again getting a free kick. Foster finds the tall figure of Kennedy. And Edwards ruled offside. Edwards having a fair old tussle with Pallister and Bruce. Webb. Goes wide on that right side. Webb again, forward. Wallace, good intricate play by Manchester United. Ince, and that certainly wasn't. As it finds Clive Walker, who sets Kennedy going to Edwards. Edwards has got Crumplin wide on this side. It comes wide, as I was saying, to Crumplin. Chivers going on the overlap on the right-hand side. Chivers. Ball comes over. Tremendous play by Brighton. Can't actually see it was Darren Wilkins, Dean Wilkins, the Dutch signing, diving in just outside the area, round about the penalty spot, but his header just going over Gary Walsh's crossbar. Not far away at all for Brighton. The Seagulls certainly not looking two divisions below. The Manchester side. Well played by Foster. McCarthy, should I say. Codner. Irwin. Throw quickly taken, finds Kennedy, but he's robbed. McClare back there helping out. Foster. Brighton looking good value for this scoreless draw that is the score at the moment. <laughs> well, on 
ball forward from Beanie. Webb. And a chance on the far side from the cross as John Crumpling was closing in. Ball comes out, United defence finds Hughes. Hughes beats Foster. Ince wide on that right side again. Played forward by Irwin. Ball on the edge of the box here, Wallace. This is dangerous for you, for Brighton. Wallace lays it in, Ince back to Webb. Webb seeing himself up for a shot, but uh, goes pathetically wide by Neil Webb. We need to launch this one forward. Hughes with Codner and the referee blowing up for a foul. A foul. Codner judged to have impeded Bruce. Leaves it for Pallister. Wallace. Deflection coming off. The Brighton player near to us. Martin. Webb to Martin. Inside. McClare. Webb. United playing some good one twos. Wallace again for Ince. Tries the shot but goes wide again. Corner kick to Manchester United. United got men forward. Well nodded out by McCarthy. Kanchelskis, Walker trying to get in there. The ball comes back again to Kanchelskis on the edge of the area. Pallister slips up, loses out. Wilkins to Edwards. right side again as United come forward Webb well played by Kanchelskis causing all sorts of problems and the ball nearly finding its way through and it's a shot blocked out United pushing the pressure on and here's Wallace he went the wrong side of the uh, of Crumplin oh it's a goal it's a goal Danny Wallace giving Manchester United the lead Wallace giving United the lead 35 minutes into the first half, and Dally Wallace, the ball came out to him, and he thumped it from about 25 yards, giving more Beanie no chance whatsoever into the top left-hand corner of the net. Wallace. And United, threatened for so long to take the lead, have done just that. Brighton got it all to do now. McClare, Kanchelskis, such a dangerous play, he's gone past, and a booking for Chapman. United looking for number two.
Free kickers, a Manchester United looking for their second goal here. Brighton really do need to keep this deficit down, certainly before half-time to just one goal. The ball coming in, headed out. Ince got a chance to fire, but fire he did well over the top. Playing in the wrong sport, Paul Ince. It has scored some points in rugby. Morfini, who was well beaten by Danny Wallace's thunderous drive from about 25 yards. Brighton, who certainly not being overrun, but are in danger of being done, done so if they don't keep their composure. Bruce to Martin. Bruce again, trying to find Kanchelskis, he does, he's giving Martin, he's giving uh, Chapman such a hard time at uh, left back. For a long time he was containing the Russian, but United look well in control at this moment in time. Dennis Irwin, former Oldham player. Kanchelskis, Irwin back to Ince, finds Webb. United looking very cool, cool calm and composed at this, at the moment. Webb. McClare, and United looking a class above Brighton at the moment. Brighton need to calm it down. Manager Barry Lloyd needs to keep the players calm and relaxed and keep doing the things that have won them three league games here at the Goldstone ground. In Chapman, inside. The ball played forward again, but cut out by Ince. Webb in the centre circle. Hughes. An ambitious ball forward by Hughes. Martin won't get there. Crumplin with Pallister. Ince. Ince again. Kanchalskis. He looks so dangerous, does this. And an ambitious attempt at goal from Neil Webb. Out of favour here at Manchester United. Rumoured that Derby County have been looking at Neil Webb, along with many, many other rumours flying around that manager Arthur Cox has an endless amount of money to spend on players, certainly not doing the, the Rams any good at all. Just tell you a little bit about uh, your commentator this evening, Gary Burrows, and the club I've just been talking about, Derby County, is my hometown. Chivers. Codner. Good play. Codner turning one way and then the... But eventually the ball coming out. Ince. Ince so quickly. Codner just wrapping his legs. Referee allowing play to go on. Can't be too far off half time. Five minutes or so. Webb, wide to Martin. And Manchester United looking well in control. Webb, Martin, Wallace. Wallace again. Hughes, United. And Wallace just taking his eye off the ball and allowing it to go under his foot, so Chivers will take this throw in. Just beneath us here. Crumplin. Edwards.
Chapman wide. Edwards trip from behind. And the referee, Mr. Ian Hemley, whistling for a free kick, of which Ian Chapman will take. A tremendous following from Manchester United here this evening. Only to be expected. Support from all over the country for Manchester. Oh, the ball dropped! Oh, dear me! And there was a chance for the equaliser. Was the referee blown for a free kick? I think he has. Yes, a free kick given. And McCarthy's shot. Was wide anyway. McClare beaten by McCarthy. Crumplin clattered to the ground. And the referee slow to blow. But the linesman on this left hand side. Mike Stobbard was right to flag because it took quite a clattering the trainer on Martin Hinch Hinchwood on to see to the Brighton injured Seems to be okay. John Crumplin taking his position on the right. Thankfully okay after that crunching tackle. Hughes climbing all over. McCarthy. A minute before half time, Brighton losing by one goal to nil. And there goes the half time whistle. Manchester United lead by a goal to nil thanks to that 35 yard shot from Danny Wallace that hit the left hand corner of the net. Manchester United in the first half also hit the post from a defected shot. In some Wallace have also gone close. Brighton for their chances. Edwards was through. He shot over when possibly he could have done better against Walsh. And Wilkins had a diving header from a John Crumpling cross that just went over. One booking from the first half. Chapman a booked for a challenge on Kanchelskis. But... <laughs> Welcome to the second half here. Where Manchester United lead by one goal to nil. That Danny Wallace goal in 35 minutes from about 25 yards out. I did actually say 35 yards before half time, but more realistically, it was more from likely to be from about around the 25 yard mark that launched into the top left hand corner of Mark Beanie's net. United, who could have earlier gone in front. We're just coming out onto the field now, led by Captain Bruce. When a deflected shot hit the Brighton post, Edwards went close for Brighton. In the first half, was shot over, running through. And Wilkins had it over from John Crumplin's superb cross. Chapman's been booked, as I was saying, at the end of the first half for a challenge on Kanchelskis. The referee just about to get the second half underway. Synchronised watches. And United get the second half underway. 
Brighton, under the manager of Barry Lloyd, need to get this second half a bit more positive. And a free kick to Brighton. To Manchester United, should I say? No, it is actually to Brighton. Brighton kicking from right to left in the second half. Foster heads it on. No problem for Steve Bruce. Back to the deputy keeper, Gary Walsh. Webb. Hughes trying to get in there, but uh, Steve Foster, who's had a tremendous long career, 35 years old tomorrow. Started with Portsmouth in 1975. 109 games until a four-year reign there. Back 1979, he left to go to here, Brighton, where he spent five years, 172 appearances. And it's the United throw on this left-hand side, scoring six goals at, Pl at Portsmouth and Brighton. He moved on then to Aston Villa from 1983 to 85, where he scored three goals but only ma made 15 appearances. United coming forward on the right-hand side. From Aston Villa, he went to Luton Town, Steve Foster, where from 1980 to uh, 1989 he 163 games where he scored 11 goals United have a throw in on this right hand side from Luton Town he went to Oxford Edwards just breaking away from Steve Foster's record as Kennedy races through on this left hand side pushed over by Pallister but the referee allowing play to go on Irwin to Bruce, knocks it forward. At Oxford, from 89 to 92, where he played 98 games, he scored nine goals. A tremendous career for Steve Foster, but Wallace breaks down on that left-hand side. Wallace, but pushes the ball too far and out for a goal kick. All together, Steve Foster played 557 games and scored 35 goals in his span, his, his career span. Quite a good uh, record in every anybody's account. And Marbini to launch this one upfield. United have a throw in. left-hand side Martin to take it Webb Codner breaking he's got Walker on this left-hand side Codner he's got Walker and Codner tries a shot, but there were two, three Brighton players offside anyway. United break, ball coming in, nodded clear. Good shot from Paul Ince, but goes over Mark Beanie's crossbar. Be nice to give uh, the home supporters Brighton something to cheer about, trailing by one goal to nil. Well, that 
Danny Wallace goal. Hughes nodding it on. And McCarthy hacks it into touch. Throw into Manchester United on that left side. <laughs> Cleared by Dean Wilkins. Webb. And that's foul Mark Hughes in plenty of space, but he can't keep it in. Brighton need to lift their game if they're to get any sort of reward from tonight. Face a, a very difficult task indeed going to Manchester United anyway, but trailing by a solitary goal to nil, their task becomes even stiffer. Codner lays it down on that right side, crumpling. It's not crumpling, it's Kennedy. Crumpling, it was in the middle, Ince. Racing out of the United defence, Ince going all the way. Ince wide to Kanchelskis. This is dangerous. Kanchelskis going through. Hack clear by Foster. <laughs> Gary Burrows, your commentator this evening. The first time he's actually done any working of this sort at the Goldstone ground. Phoenix Sporting Promotions that are videoing the game, doing tremendous in their work here with Brighton Hove Albion. Goalkeeper Mark Beanie just about to take this free kick. And Pallister in all sorts of problems at the back there. And Pallister, Edwards getting the deflection back off. And it came back off Edwards for a throw into Manchester United. Brighton really do need to start pushing some pressure on uh, Kennedy. Did well. Codner and Webb and McClare bring it away to Martin. McClare again, playing quite deep for United nowadays. Webb. Ince. Finds Hughes on that left-hand side. And the ball eventually with McCarthy, with Gary Chivers. Finds Kennedy. Kennedy. Battling away well. Brighton need to do just that to gain some kind of reward to haul themselves back into this game. John Crumplin to take this throw-in. Looks as though he's going to launch one into the box. No problem for Pallister. McCarthy. Bruce. And United. Back forward again by McCarthy. Webb. Manchester United throw. Or should we say a Manchester United free kick? Webb. Codner 
to Wilkins, trying to find Clive Walker, but he won't keep that in. The old Chelsea player, Clive Walker. And Chelsea's marks it on, that's Steve Foster. Codner, obstruction, referee says no. I find that a uh, little strange, but nevertheless, the game continues on this uh, side. Walker. And Codner receiving treatment. Insel Ward on giving treatment to Codner. Much to the disgrace of the home supporters. Not the sort of uh, chant we want from the crowd, but nevertheless, the trainer on. And Codner looks as though he's a little winded by that challenge. Brighton, as I say, haven't lost at home this season. And Codner looks as though he's OK. Throwing Manchester United, looks like it's going to be a bounce up in the middle. Steve Bruce and Gary Chivers. And Steve Bruce plays it all the way back. And eventually it comes back to keeper Mark Beanie. Edwards. Chivers. Codner forward. Blow just running too far. Edwards. Martin. Wallace. Being wrestled to the ground by Edwards. Brighton at home this season. Beaten Bolton Wanderers on their first home game of the season 2 1. Wilkins scoring on the opening home fixture for Albion. And beat Colchester United 1-0. Wilkins scoring in that game and Chapman scoring in the Bolton game, should I say. Preston came the next home game where they won 2-0. Molden scoring the goal. And then Huddersfield Town where they won 2-1. So a fair... Colchester, that game being played in the cup, but uh, can Chelsea's being hauled down on this right hand side as Manchester United were breaking? So a free kick to United once again to be taken by fullback Dennis Irwin. United search for this second goal. 1 0. They lead. As Brighton desperately need to lift their game, and the crowd need to lift Brighton. A capacity crowd here for tonight's encounter. The Red Devils of Manchester United. Certainly need another goal to lift the game. If Brighton could equalise, it would certainly make the last half of the, the last half an hour or so of the game quite a contest. Chivers down on that right side to Crumplin. Lays it to Codner. Brighton certainly not out of it. And too slow was Dean Wilkins. Tanchelskis, Walker, got Edwards there, and Walker trying his luck. Yeah, 
No problem for keeper Gary Walsh. Irwin tries to find Hughes. Foster. Foster eventually trying to get the ball clear. Ince. United press down that right side and Kalnchelskis is ruled offside. Very cramp in the commentary position here at the Goldstone ground. Quite a low camera position. Good view, but a lot of people pressing onto the, the gantry here. And Brighton... Gary Walsh having to come off his line as Brighton were looking dangerous with that attack. Wallace quickly, 2-0, no tremendous save. McClare's shot. And another tremendous save. Two saves in the space of uh, 30 seconds from keeper Mark Beanie. First he saved a shot from, I think it was Wallace. And then Neil Webb's lob and backpedalling towards goal. Mark Beanie performing acrobatic miracles to keep the score at 1-0. Long corner comes in. The header from Pallister, the push in the back. And Brighton are relieved that a free kick is awarded to the home side. Tremendous goalkeeping from Mark Beanie. Especially the save from... Neil Webb, it already performed miracles, parrying a shot. And then Neil Webb's lob, he was backpedalling towards goal, did tremendously well to tip it over the ball. Foster, Kennedy, Pallister beating him. Trumplin, Edwards, offside. No question. The linesman. Mike Stollard had a good game this evening. Wallace. Martin. Kanchelskis. And an ambitious attempt. Kanchelskis have to be a, some sort of giraffe to uh, reach that one. Brighton, who are at home on Saturday to Reading, they want to put their good league form out of their minds for tonight's game. They need to concentrate on getting a result this evening if they're to progress in the competition. The difficult task of going to Manchester United, Codner. Edwards. Ince. Foster. Nineteen minutes gone in the second half. Manchester United lead by that one goal to nil. Martin. Pallister. Kanchelskis. Kennedy did well. Edwards in! Back to Kennedy. Kennedy has got players in the box, a poor cross. Headed out by Webb. McClare knocks it back to Wallace. United build, and a ball, bad ball there. And again, these shots. Wilkins trying a, a dip, but really... They need to 
try and bring the, the ball slightly closer to the United goal. I don't feel that Gary Walsh has been troubled particularly by anything that's been on target tonight. Wilkins header and Edwards shooting over look the more dangerous of the Albion attacks in the first half. And Martin doing well. Webb. to Kennedy oh Kennedy oh what a shame and Aunt Kennedy Andy Kennedy couldn't believe his luck Neil Webb put under all sorts of pressure and just shows what damage can be done by pressure on the Manchester United defence and Andy Kennedy will be kicking himself for not equalising Gary Walsh doing tremendously well diving down to his left and blocking the shot and doing so well keeping hold of the ball and Andy Kennedy should have equalised. Neil Webb put under a tremendous amount of pressure. And his clearance fall in to Kennedy round about the penalty left of the penalty spot. And Kennedy's shot. Well, to be quite honest with you, it happened so quickly. Walsh diving down, I'm not sure whether he managed to keep hold of the ball, he pushed it down, but eventually the ball was cleared, and United still in front, 1-0. Certainly brought a bit of excitement to the Albion supporters. Offside, Kennedy... Not the normal central striker, Molden on loan for Molden, normally in the central striking position. Sanchelskis. All played by Mark Beanie as a danger up the other end, the ball. On Bobbling about on the edge of the Albion penalty area, Chivers. And again, Brighton being caught offside. The Brighton fans shouting at uh, the linesman, Mr. Stoppard, but has had a, a good game. Not giving any. Wrong decisions, not obvious ones anyway. And uh, Brighton started to put a bit of pressure on United. Walker, he's got Chapman here. Wilkins, and again United get it clear. Wallace, bit of pressure, and uh, United can be in all sorts of problems at the back. Webb. Trying to set Hughes away, McCarthy pedalling back to put the ball into touch. Hughes will take this throw in quickly to Martin. Martin, he's got Webb in support. Ince alongside him. The ball comes wide on the right side to Dennis Irwin. Irwin keeps it in play. He <laughs> say he keeps it in play and then kicks it out. Brighton throw in. Launch forward. Edwards to chase. And Walsh, who's had a very competent game in the Manchester United goal indeed. Ince weaving one way, then the next. Ince again, he's all over the place. Kanchelskis, good challenge by Chapman. Chapman, the regular right back for Brighton. 
Had quite a handful tonight with Kanchelskis, but uh, he's coped quite admirably. Good corner. Codner trying to hook it clear. Wilkins. Pallister. Wallace. Crumplin. And a poor clearance again. Walker thought about making the challenge, then he stopped. Pallister. Here's Walker. Walker. Oh, terrible. Wilkins and Walker combining, and the final ball was a poor one. Wallace. Just feel if Brighton could just close down a little bit more on the Manchester United defence, they'd be forced to make mistakes, and who knows? Pallister. United lead by that one goal to nil. Such a close game tonight. Good one to Hughes. Eventually Foster getting it clear. And McCarthy. Foster, it was McCarthy, Foster launching one forward, Pallister, end-to-end -end stuff, offside Wallace, so Brighton have a free kick once again, 26 minutes, nearly 27 minutes into the second half, a substitution, <laughs> going to be David Blackham, United number 14, David Beckham for number 7, Andrea Cancholis. So United making a substitution. That possibly will be a relief to fullback uh, Ian Chapman, who has had a few problems, but he's coped quite well. Here he is, Chapman, raining down on this side. Good ball in. Yes, a goal! Edward, a goal! That's the equaliser, a tremendous goal! Brighton Hove Albion won, Manchester United won! And Matthew Edwards rising to Ian Chapman's cross. 1 1. 27 minutes into the Second half, and Brian Hogarbian have done what they threatened to do all game, and that is equalise. 1-1. One, one. Brighton, what a superb equaliser, just after Kanchelskis had gone off, and I was saying that Chapman was in problems all game with Kanchelskis. He'd in his next attack, he rains down on this left-hand side. The ball goes right over to the back post. And there was Matthew Edwards, who normally wears the number seven shirt, diving in at the back post to head 1-1. Brighton will want to build on that. United will want to contain. And United just kick it over. The 72nd minute equaliser for Brighton Hove Albion. And that is just what the home supporters will want. Manchester United. They're going to feel a little bit under pressure as the home supporters try and get behind their home side. We always felt that a bit of pressure on the Manchester United defence. It didn't look too, too particularly good when uh, Neil Webb was gave away that ball early in the in the second half. Certainly set uh, the Hove Albion supporters singing. 
One interesting point, uh, Brighton's former name when they first started was Brighton Hove Rangers, but that only lasted for about the first season. Brighton who actually were formed at the start of this century, 1900. They played at the Withdean ground and at the county ground and then eventually came to the Goldstone ground after a couple of seasons playing at those two grounds. And there's a chance here, Edwards going in, but Gary Walsh, who's had a good game this evening. Edwards offside, way offside. Good result if it stays like this for Brighton. It means if it does stay like this with only 14 minutes remaining that all to play for again at Old Trafford in the return leg. Irwin. Todner. Back to keeper Mark Beanie and Brighton. If they could snatch another one, what a tremendous result it would be. Edwards, probably just slightly offside. Martin on that left side. Wallace. Irwin. Irwin getting the return off the substitute Blackmore. Blackham. Irwin. Webb. Free kick to Manchester United, Irwin to loft this one in. Pallister, the tall figure in there. Headed out nicely. Edwards. And Edwards has got it. He's got no support in the middle. Edwards needs to... He's got Walker on this side. He's got the ball through to Crumplin. The ball's come over. Kennedy. Not cleared, and Codner's effort, well, it was a shot, a pass, whatever. It, the ball eventually comes through to keeper Gary Walsh, who has no problems. It certainly brought the Brighton fans to life. Edwards. And United certainly do look shaky at times at the back when Brighton put a bit of pressure. Foster, good play. Chivers. Walker's back in. And Walker's onside! Walker's onside! Oh, tremendous! Oh, dear me! Oh, Clive Walker, you should have done better than that. Walker driving wide. He beat the offside trap. He went right the way through from Chivers' cross. And really, Brighton, you should have taken the lead. His ball was pulled back only to the, the legs of the Manchester United defence, who eventually cleared. But really, Brighton, Hove Albion should have gone in front from that last attack. United in all sorts of problems at the back. Hughes. McClare. Certainly when games live, Nubby makes a commentator's point of view. It makes it a game a lot easier to commentate on and speak about. Beanie. 
A long ball for Kennedy, beaten by Bruce. Walker, offside, Edwards, way offside. Clearly offside. The linesman making the correct decision. Bruce. Foster, a good, solid head out of the Brighton defence. Irwin. Ince, Wallace. And the referee didn't actually quite see what happened to Wallace, but he's down. And the referee has allowed play to go on. Well done, Mark Beanie. Good sporting sportsmanship. I certainly didn't see what happened to Danny Wallace. Down injured at the moment. Looks as though he's in pain, actually. Manchester United. Certainly been put under the rack in this second half with Brighton's pressure on their defence, looking slightly shaky at times. That goal from Danny Wallace giving United the lead in the 35th minute. But a superb equaliser coming in 72 minutes from Edwards. Chapman unleashing a superb cross from the left-hand side. And Edwards rising, Matthew Edwards rising at the back post above the United defence and slamming a firm header past Gary Walsh in the United goal. 1-1. Eight minutes left. What Ince battling away in the middle there. Wallace. Ince has gone through. He lays it wide to Irwin. Down on this side. Deep on that right side. Very difficult indeed to get a, a picture sometimes. So with Wilkins. Upfield. Bruce forward to Webb. Backham. Wallace hit it on the turn. Good try by Danny Wallace, the former Southampton player. He was skidding across the greasy surface. Mark Beanie. Like all the Brighton side this evening, certainly played their part in contributing to a good, entertaining game of football. Beckham. Hughes. Webb. Got lots of space in the middle. Webb. Out to Irwin. Beckham. Not a clear, only as far as Webb. Wallace touches it inside. There's McClare. This is dangerous for Brighton. Oh, and cleared. Edwards knocks it down. Codner comes wide, unfortunately, but fortunately for United. Owen intercepting. Walker. Should have equalized, should have scored the a goal not so long ago when he was clean through. He'll look back after this game, I'm sure, and be kicking himself for not putting Brighton ahead. Well played by Chivers. Offside Kennedy. Edwards losing out. 
a fair old battle this evening, a tremendous game of football. End-to-end -end stuff, Wilkins is kept in, Crumplin, forward, Chivers, rages down. Pallister, and United in all sorts of problems at the back. Chivers, another poor ball in, United in all sorts of problems. Walker, Codner, Brighton building superbly. Crumplin. Faced by Webb. Crumplin, the cross comes in. A oh, tremendous save! Edwards has had her. And Gary, Gary Walsh in the United goal, tipping over, as did Mark Beanie not so long ago. And it'll be Edwards to take this corner. And Brighton, who's the FA Premier side? Well, Manchester United, but they certainly don't look it at the moment. Wallace trying to set McClare away. McClare. Edwards, who's had a tremendous game upfield for Brighton. Foster, Codner. Brighton build again. Chivers. Kennedy calling for it. He's slightly offside. He's offside again. He's played him. Edwards, the ball's on that right side. Edwards faced by Pallister. No problem for Walsh. As we enter the last three minutes of the game. Whistles for a free kick, Webb will take it. Well, we've certainly seen some action in the last 20 minutes here at the Goldstone ground. And Manchester United. It'd be a crying shame if they snatch one. McClare. Hughes all wide of Beanie's post. And Manchester United, this game could go either way, end-to-end -end stuff. United know they've been in a cup tie this evening, that's for sure. Irwin. Irwin, Pallister, plays it wide, Martin, Webb, and Walker, and Kennedy, and Kennedy's onside, it, faced by Pallister, oh, and a terrible ball played in, and United have a chance to bring it away. This could go either way. And Beanie put under a bit of pressure by Ian Chapman's back pass. This cup tie has been played at 90 miles an hour. End-to-end -end stuff. Fast-flowing football. 1-1, one, one, probably a fair result at the moment on the night. But Brighton might claim that they deserve to be in front, and possibly they do. To be fair to Manchester United, they've had their chances too. Walker. Free kick to Manchester United. Bruce. And 
Mark Hughes just getting clobbered from behind. Ince trying to take the quick free kick. And that's the full time on my watch. We're into injury time now, 1-1 one, one still. I think Brighton will be uh, quite pleased with a 1-1 one, one scoreline at home to Manchester United. The end. United building towards the end of this game on this right side with a throw-in. Long throw-in headed out by Foster. Walker. And Walker. Webb to take this throw-in. He'll look for the aerial power of Gary Pallister. Foster knocking it out again. Kennedy. And United building well. Webb. Ince. Laid it back to Webb. Nodded out by Foster. And Martin again as United build. Beckham. Irwin. On this right side again. Ince. And Brian have a throw in. Brian will be pleased with the sounds of it with a 1 1 scoreline. They could so easily have won it. And there's the end of the game. Brighton won, Manchester United won. Manchester United scoring in the first half for a Wallace goal in 35 minutes. A cracker from about 25 yards. They hit the left hand corner of Mark Beanie's net. Brighton's equalised coming in the 72nd minute after Kanchelski had been replaced by Blackham. Chapman had had problems with Kanchelski's all game, raided down the left hand side, put a superb ball across, and Matthew Edwards rose above the Manchester United head, headed firmly into the bottom right hand corner of the net to make, give us a final score, a superb game of football. Of Brighton won, Manchester United won.